Yes. yes. Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk about the topic that I never found on YouTube. When I was upgrading from my Intel MacBook Pro 13 inch to uh, either M1 or M2 MacBook Pro, I couldn't find a single video comparing the Intel versus M2. Let's see how much of an upgrade it's worth and in my experience from what I've used it before, oh my god it's such an upgrade. Like the battery on the M2, I can literally edit the whole video unplugged and I still have charge left. And then to charge it, I plug it in, uh, I don't know, half hour and I'm good to go for another video. It's just crazy. Uh, but yes, let me cover this little niche topic on YouTube that was never covered. Intel MacBook 13 inch Pro versus M2 13 inch Pro. Let's begin. So I have this little project that I've been working on recently. The editor of choice today is going to be DaVinci. And my main question is how, like the export times. What is it? It's one minute and 24 seconds. And it's not, not a crazy video. There is a bit of footage, a bit of layering, a, uh, one frame with masking. Uh, adjustment clip, color correction, not too much, not to a crazy degree, just a regular one minute, one and a half minute project. It's in 1080, it is, uh, it was shot at 60 frames, so some of the shots are slowed down uh, 50%. And to have a fair comparison, this is the computer I've been editing on. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the cache. So this way it's fair. Apples to apples. Let's go. Same export settings. We're going to do the same thing on the Intel Mac. So, this is the M2 version. Back to render queue. Render all. Let's see. All right. We are complete. Time to beat. One minute and 43 seconds. This is, in my opinion, is blazing fast after working on the Intel machine. This is incredibly fast for me and I can be happier about this. All right, let's export this project onto our older machine and compare the two. Okay, my older MacBook was dying, so I had to plug it in for a charge. And while it's transferring, transferring the project, let me tell you about the specs of the computer. So here on the right, we have the older, the older version. It's a MacBook Pro 13 inch 2020. It's, it has four Thunderbolt 3 ports. It, it got 16 gigabyte of memory, so it's an upgraded version. It got, uh, what is it? I think it's two terabytes? Wait, I need to say storage. Here, one terabyte of storage, but it's a 16 gigabyte RAM model, so it should be more powerful. Uh, for the M2, we are rocking almost the basic model. It is eight gigabyte of RAM. It's an M2 model, and it had uh, 520 gigabyte of storage. So we have eight gigabyte of RAM versus 16 gigabyte of RAM i5 and M2. Uh, touch bar the same, keyboard's the same, except for the little symbol. Uh, visually, they are the same, and except for ports, obviously, because I got the different version. But yeah, uh, I, I was happy with the machine I had, but I was kind of frustrated with how slow it's running, so I decided to upgrade, not regretting at all. And we're almost done with the complete transfer of the project and the files, and we'll try to render it soon. We'll see. Tell me, uh, write down in the comments your predictions. All right, let's just clean up the cage just in case on this older machine. Same settings, all the same, MP4. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is MP4, yes. Add a queue. Yes, you know it's missing, the song is missing. All, render, render all, start. And I'm not gonna wait here with you, I'll see you in a bit. Something I fixed already on my other 
machine. Okay, we have to start it all over again. We'll do play with the catch again. Okay, three, two, one, and we go. time 3 minutes and 51 seconds okay i exaggerated it a lot but still 351 almost twice if not more oh more than twice a bit more than two times faster and again this is one minute and 20 it's a pretty short project if you make a video which is like 10 minute long like let's say i don't know how long this youtube video is going to be but multiply that by the difference factor by two times something to me it is a lot and again it is a fairly simple project there is not that much of uh, transitions there's not that much effects there's not that much masking there's not that many layers of coloring it's just pretty much basic adjustments plus LUT. Um, yeah that kind of answers the question that's what how much is the difference between the two um is it worth it to me absolutely yes the other thing i forgot to mention is um, whenever you edit in the project there is always some hiccups stuttering there is you can't even play back video normally while you're editing on this machine at some point on em2 everything runs smooth no problems all the time preview this is not a video to recommend go one with the other. It's for people like me who are debating whether they should upgrade or not. Here's your answer. If saving half of your time is it worth to you, go for it. Ooh, that's crooked. I wasn't sure how to end this video. Here's your comparison. Um, more videos are coming, I promise I'm not going to disappear as much. I mean, I'm still going to be away, but I'll, I will be making more videos. Thanks for watching and cheers.